Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we take a look at something quite special and for sure not something you see every day. There's some videos on YouTube about this gun, but not too many. This is the Smith & Wesson 945-1 by the Performance Center. It was made from 2005 to 2010. We're not going to go through all the specs and weights and everything. Just know that it's a large pistol. It was made mostly for competition. It does have a 5-inch barrel. And it comes in around, if you can find them, especially if you can find them in good shape like this one. Sometimes you're fortunate enough and things like this do come across. But you're going to find them somewhere quite north of $2,500, $3,000 somewhere in there. Like I said, from the Performance Center. 8 plus 1 capacity, 45 ACP, single action only. Now some of them that you're going to see, if you see them, on the, the billboard here, you see how it just says Smith & Wesson, very discreetly marked. Later on, Smith & Wesson actually started putting it quite large over here. That was the model. It said it'll see 945-1 or 945 over here because a lot of people thought it was a 1911. And Smith & Wesson wanted to make sure people knew that it was not a 1911. This was available in all black, or in this case is a two-tone stainless with more of a of matte or a, yeah, I guess I would say a matte finish on top with a high gloss at the bottom. It also features front and rear slide serrations. It's kind of like the fish scale that you see now in Smith & Wesson's 1911s, and also in the M&P series, you'll see a little bit hint of the fish, 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 the fish scale serrations. Forgot to go to my speech therapy class this week. Joke. One thing that makes this special is the fully adjustable sights. And normally it comes with Bomar sights, but this particular model comes with Wilson combat sights. So obviously the original Bomar sights were replaced. Just blacked out front. And by the way, the, both the guns you're going to see in this video have been safety checked. Another thing that is interesting, just to double check, and while we're here, this is just butter. It's absolutely incredible. Let me open this up. Let you take a look at the inside, well, at least that. I'm not going to take it apart. Steel rod. When you're looking at this, is from the Performance Center, especially back then, everything was hand fit. The barrel, the bushing, everything was hand fit to the, to each particular gun. The bushing in this is hand fitted, and it is titanium coated and it's got a, sphe a spherical barrel bushing. Now in this one, if you hear or it sounds like I'm reading, I kind of am. I want to make sure that I got my notes correctly and I give you the correct information. Taking a peek in there, you can see if the light is helping. You see a very polished and his hand polished feed ramp as well. And everything you see from the slide to the frame, everything was hand fit by Smith & Wesson's custom shop. Performance Center Shop. It also features a bobbed hammer. It's got the competition trigger. The trigger is also something very special. It's coming in at three and a half, four pound trigger. And is just butter. That's your take up. It's got a little bit of play up and down, but you, re you have to really try. And there you hit your wall, push three and a half pound pressure, and it breaks. Just absolutely beautiful. Do that again, and it breaks. 
Since we're doing a close-up here, you can see some of the similarities between 1911s and this particular Smith & Wesson 94.5. 94, sounds like a radio station. 945.1. You got your takedown lever. Same thing, you push it, pull it out just like a 1911. You've got a very positive ambi safety, just like you would see on a 1911. You got the grip safety back here. So a lot of a lot of things are similar to a 1911. 25 lines, lines per inch front and rear. Let's see if the light will catch up. Come on, guys. There we go. And the wood, the grip, the grip panels are wood. Another thing that it has, it has an extended mag release, is textured and adjustable. So overall, a wonderful, wonderful pistol. And you can see here with this 1911 by Kimber, which has also been safety checked. You can definitely see that it borrows a lot of elements from a 1911, you can see the triggers. You can see the takedown lever. Oh, back here, you can see the safeties, popped hammers, memory pads and safeties, beaver tails. Just overall, there's a lot that it borrows from it, but it's not a 1911. Another thing that you have with a Smith is that you got a big of a beveled magwell. So that was a nice added feature. And it is just an absolutely amazing shooter. It just, for the 45 ACP, the weight of it is just, absorbs the recoil fantastically. And then if you get some hand load, something a little bit more toned down, it's just a planker. So I just wanted to give you a quick look at this, not something you see every day from Performance Center, from Smith & Wesson. One, one of my all-time favorite 45 ACPs. And just sometimes you get lucky enough where you can get your hands on one, and in, in turn, I'm able to bring it to you. And that's the purpose of this channel. So there it is. Tell me what you think about this Smith & Wesson. 945-1. Look forward to your comments. And also please remember that I upload videos every Friday morning when I can Wednesday mornings as well. I would like to know if you have any experience with this. If you shot it, you heard about them, what are your thoughts on this particular gun? Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, there you can see what's coming down the pipeline to the channel way before it hits YouTube. And we're almost at the verge of 10,000 subscribers, which is a big milestone for my channel. 80% of my viewers according to youtube are not subscribed to the channel so if you feel that i've earned your 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 time and you would like to see more of what's coming down i would appreciate if you can click that like button and the subscribe button so i can reach my goal once again i look forward to your comments thank you very much for stopping by and until the next one god bless